productivity hack, one thing at a time. I cannot, I don't know what it is, but I just cannot sit and pay attention to things. Like if I'm like talking to you and I'm like, wait a second, did I do this? Like I'm always like all over the place. So I think the best ways in which I've been able to just zoom in and focus is to just have the one thing at a time rule that has helped me. Oh my gosh, yo, you'd think I was suiting up to play. I got my J. Cole going, I got my Kendrick going, like blasting ignorant levels. I don't know why, I just like feel like, you know, like it's game time for me also, so. <laughs> I love, love, love researching. That's like the one I think quirk about me is like, there's a rabbit hole, she gonna dig. So like going through quotes from that I've gotten from practice or like whatever, and just like tying it and adding context, like that makes my heart sing. Yeah, that's my pregame ritual. A notepad. Because I'm scatterbrained, random notes like come to mind or thoughts come to mind and I always have to write it down. There's always like a notepad or something that I just can like, okay, remember you want to do this or so-and-so said this at practice, write that down quickly. Like always gotta have a notepad. That's a good one. I think I've done coverage around it, but maybe like really, really, really doing an NBA championship final. I guess I did that though. Let's say Super Bowl. I think Super Bowl would be like really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who, if we could bring Prince back, that was my favorite halftime performance of all time. I, I like what they did with like multiple people up in there. I would like to see Beyonce again, then Jay-Z, her husband, needs to come up in there too. J. Cole, Nas, Kendrick Lamar. I think that that would be just like a sick halftime show.